Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're gonna go over seven genius moments of the Wiz Khalifa brand. So the first thing I wanna hop out the gate with is brand consistency. A lot of people don't realize that Wiz Khalifa knew two things early on that he wanted to be a part of his brand. One, his city. If you look at Prince of the City 2005, his mixtape, and Prince of the City 2, which was in 2007, and then Grow Season, which was also in 2007, City Weed. Wiz Khalifa has used these two pillars in his brand and branded them through his mixtapes, obviously through visuals. He's done it in movies and just clothing. He's extended his brand. And if you know Wiz Khalifa, I don't really have to go into too much detail about that. Number two, I want to get into the fact that Wiz Khalifa has been really early on some of these types of branding, marketing tactics, it seems. When he was on YouTube, 2006, 2007, I remember watching Wiz Khalifa on YouTube. Nobody else was really on YouTube. It wasn't a thing like that. I'm up here watching him. I don't even know him and realize I'm becoming a fan at him at this time because rappers aren't really being made off of YouTube at this time like that. Soldier Boy, but pretty much nobody else. And Wiz Khalifa was doing early content marketing and lifestyle branding. I remember him going around the city, video recording of him and his friends and putting it up on YouTube. And I'm watching some of these videos. He was doing lifestyle marketing, but he was also early on it, which actually gives him a competitive advantage because when you're a first mover to a platform then you're gonna get views before everybody else why because when other people move to the platform and it starts to take off you're gonna be somebody who's already established with content for people to watch so keep an eye out if there is a new platform that comes out it's worth at least taking some risk on using those platforms early on just in case you don't have to leave whatever you're currently doing but use those platforms too just in case they start to take off and you'll have that advantage number Number three, 2008, when he came out to say yeah, it was kind of an interesting rebrand. It sounded so sonically different that it helped him cut through for the first time. I don't know how strategic and premeditated of a move that was. Maybe he just liked the beat, but it was a branding genius moment because it allowed him to stand out. Video was actually kind of a viral video feel. It really put him on the scene in a different way and probably expanded his audience to a less urban part of the world. Number three. For, remember when Cabin Fever 2 came out? If you don't remember all the specifics, just know that it was already Cabin Fever 1 and it had a lot of hype behind it. And not long after Cabin Fever 2 came out, ONIFC came out. He didn't push his album. What he did was maximize attention for himself just in general and then push Cabin Fever 2, which was a free mixtape and having people come to see this mixtape which was an area that already had a lot of attention because number one was so successful. He leveraged the momentum for Cabin Fever 1, pushed it into Cabin Fever 2, promoted that, and then within Cabin Fever 2, he actually advertised the fact that he was going on tour, advertised that he was coming out with ONIFC. So if you don't really understand what I'm saying is happening there, it's that he already had momentum, but maybe you don't have the momentum. He pushed something for free first, adding value out into the marketplace. He already had people that F with him. And then through that, he promoted something that cost. All right, and a number five moment of branding genius for Wiz Khalifa was black and yellow. His city, he had been branding himself with his city since the very beginning. You have Pittsburgh Pirates, Steelers, and penguins black and yellow. This is genius in the sense of, okay, you're repping your city, but many people have done this before, but the bigger genius in this situation is just the fact that it didn't limit itself. It was colors the way he did it. You know, you have Welcome to Atlanta, but Welcome to Atlanta was limited to Atlanta, and there's so many city songs that do that. This was ambiguous enough where if I'm some baseball team in another city, I'm a recreation team, black and yellow. If I'm Green Bay, which Green Bay had many people who did it for it, they did green and yellow, green and yellow. Someone could say blue and yellow. Their team colors are blue and yellow. So you have this innate way for people to copy easily. <laughs> I forgot about this. It was so bad that I was out with these girls while I'm waiting for them to get out of the car. This Asian dude walked up to me and he was like, hey yo, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, pointing to him and me. Number six. Wiz Khalifa rebranded himself multiple times and one of these times he used 
Snoop Dogg. So I'm just going to use brand association, but listen to the rebranding portions of it too. It's in two ways. Aligning himself with Snoop Dogg, who had already crossed over and mastered the weed lane. When you look at Wiz Khalifa, many people have thought about him as a young Snoop Dogg, even though you got this dude Nipsey Hussle who's out there looking just like this man and talking just like this man in so many ways. In one way, Wiz Khalifa actually found a mentor because Snoop Dogg really did walk him through a lot of the game. So he also was able to skip a lot of steps by Snoop Dogg just putting him in a position and showing him how to get that brand thing because Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa, the two strongest parts about them is not the weed, but their brand. We just happens to be a part of their brand. Number seven, there was two big rebrands in Wiz Khalifa's career so far. He had the one portion where he rebranded himself as the new weed prodigy. And then the next portion was he became the weed rock star, realizing that there was relevancy in this whole rock star branding thing today. Other than that, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.